Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. This is not our all English lecture today. So、no? hey, during the program here, I might try to sneak in a few words of Chinese or something. Really? Just to show off how much I know. <laughs> But I don't really think it's necessary at this particular juncture because we are going to be talking about pet shelters, and I don't know a lot of Chinese terms about pet shelters. So you probably won't be hearing me speak Chinese at all during our program. So for all intents and purposes, this is an all English lecture. Well, we are teaching them.、English. English, Tom, not Chinese. Their Chinese is fabulous. I'm sure.、Uh, I'm, I hope it is. <laughs> But in any case, here, remember last time we were talking about this、uh, program on Animal Planet called Pet Nation Renovation, and we introduced you to a pet shelter or an animal shelter in Ashland, Virginia. It's called Bark Animal Rescue, and we've got this、uh, organization called、uh, Project Positive, and they are renovation experts. And they assist animal shelters to help them get their act together to do renovations and help them do their job better to help them make do with as little as they have. Yeah, they don't have a lot of money, do they? They have minimum funds, minimal funds, minimum.、Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started, guys, as we always do by reading through today's lesson, and then we'll be back. The team's main objective is to create a space that will reduce the dog's anxiety levels. Bark's chain-link kennels are noisy, which is stressful for the dogs. This causes negative behavior, such as pacing and excessive barking, that makes it harder for the dogs to be adopted. The updated outdoor area will give the dogs a place to exercise and run off any excess energy. This not only makes the dogs more likely to be adopted, but also keeps them healthy. The team isn't just focused on the dogs, however, as it also aims to improve conditions for Bark's volunteers. They've been using a portable toilet at the edge of the property, as the one inside the shelter is out of order. Therefore, they're receiving a new bathroom as well as a lounge and kitchen area. In a previously unused section of the wet room, what's more, the team is installing a washing machine and dryer, so that the volunteers no longer have to carry all the shelter's dirty laundry to an off-site laundromat. When the renovations are finally complete and all the dogs have been groomed, Bark is ready to reopen and entertain guests with an adoption event. Adoption expert Jill Rapaport. Has pre-screened every guest to ensure that Bark's dogs will only go to the best homes. With the dogs looking their best and feeling happy and comfortable in their new surroundings, it isn't long before 14 of them put their puppy eyes to work and find their new forever homes. There are plenty more cute and cuddly dogs looking for homes on Pet Nation renovation, however. So tune in to this heartwarming show. On Animal Planet this July. Okay, everybody, it's time for us to discuss the contents of today's lesson. Remember, we talked about Pet Nation renovation in our program last time, and where we left off, we had this organization called. Project Positive, okay, and they had gone to this animal shelter in Ashland, Virginia, to help them out, to help them make some renovations and things like that. So here's what happened there: the team,、uh, Project Positive, the team's main objective is to create a space that will reduce the dog's anxiety levels. So yes, indeed, that's their objective, that's their goal,、mm. that's what they want to accomplish. They want to create a space in this animal shelter, in this animal. Animal shelter where the dogs won't feel so anxious or nervous. Okay, so you want to reduce their level of anxiety. So first of all, in the sentence, we've got the verb to reduce. That just means to make something smaller or less severe.、Uh-huh. You want to reduce the chance of getting cancer, for example, by eating a good diet, eating good food, and not eating so much junk food. And you want to reduce the risk of cancer by quitting smoking. If you smoke, you have A higher chance of getting cancer. You want to reduce that, make it lower. 
Right. Anxiety here, of course, is the noun form of the adjective Tom used. Anxious,、um, and that's what we would say if we're feeling nervous. Oh, I, I feel a little anxious. Yeah, I wouldn't say, "Oh, my anxiety level is really high." We would、no. just say, "I'm anxious. I'm feeling anxious." So, yeah, anxiety.、Um, we want to avoid that in animals for sure, especially dogs and cats. You know, dogs just will bark and and whine、mm. like that. So, barks.、Uh, they've got these kennels that are chain link. Chain link are just、uh, links. Imagine that、uh, linked together. A chain link fence. Have you seen those before? Just take those two words. They're acting as an adjective here because they're describing what the kennel is made out of. Chain link. Look that up on online and take a look and see what that looks like. You'll often see chain link fences、um, in different yards. Sometimes here in kennels, that's what they're using instead of little boxes or a smaller cages to. But the the animals in they all have these chain link dividers between the dogs. They're noisy though, you know, because the dogs will hit them, and every time they they hit them,、uh, those links are made out of. Some sort of metal, so it's kind of loud. So that makes it even more stressful for the dogs. I、mm. feel so bad for them there. Yes,、uh, the walls are probably made out of wood or something. So when they bark, the the sound echoes around,、yeah. and the other dogs bark, and everyone's stressed out by that、uh, because of these chain link kennels.、Uh, the cages are made of that chain link fence. It's kind of like squares turned on their sides. It's all made out of metal there,、mm. and this causes negative behavior. Such as pacing and excessive barking, that makes it harder for the dogs to be adopted. So, if you're talking about the way someone acts,、uh, that's their behavior. Okay,、mm. behave is the verb. I heard that a lot when I was a kid growing up. I was kind of out of control sometimes, so I would hear my mother or the teacher say, "Hey, Tom, behave yourself. <laughs> don't be so wild, or I'm、yeah. going to send you to the principal's office." Although I don't believe I was ever actually sent. To the principal's office. My brother was, and he got spanked. Hey,、okay. I want to mention, guys, don't put an S on this word, please, please, please. It's non-count.、Um, I often see、uh, people will say, "Oh, his behaviors are、Ooh. really bad." No, his behavior is really bad. Behavior as a non-count noun includes all of his actions, what he does or what she does. So remember that. Don't put an S on that. Such as pacing. Pacing is to walk back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth. Some animals will do that, especially dogs when they're upset.、Um, yeah, dogs do it definitely. We had a dog who would pace. <laughs> We'd put him outside when we had a party, and he would be upset because he wasn't invited to the party, and he would pace outside. They're just bark- walking back and forth.、Uh, the <laughs> black,、uh, what is it? The Formosan black bear in the Taipei Zoo is always pacing. Oh, really? Yeah, every time I see it, it obviously does not want to be、uh, kept in a zoo. It just keeps going back and forth, back and forth. He wants his freedom. He wants out of there. But、uh, that's what dogs do. They pace back and forth in those kennels. Of course, they bark too much, excessively. Whoa, Excessive just、yeah. means too much. And of course, if they're acting that way, who wants to adopt them and take them home to be their pets? Now, the updated outdoor area will give the dogs a place to exercise and run off any excess. Energy. That's good. They can let them out of the kennels. <laughs> yeah. And let them run around in the yard back there. They can feel free for a little bit of time there. They can exercise and they can burn off or run off that excess energy. Excess just means extra. Extra, yeah. Well, dogs definitely need a place to run around. I feel bad for the big dogs that I see here in Taipei, where their owners are taking them, you know, probably to go to the bathroom, you know, in the morning、mm. or evening. And I think. Oh, that poor dog has to live in a small apartment. That's hard, especially for golden retrievers. Those dogs are wild. They need to run around and stuff like that. Well, so we had an English sp-、uh, Springer Spaniel, and he's kind of a medium-sized dog, but they run. They live to run. So he actually lived outside in our backyard. So、uh, if you have a big dog, make sure you get him a lot of exercise. We're going to move on to the next sentences. This not only makes the dogs more likely to be adopted, but also keeps them healthy. 
Dogs need exercise for sure. If they just are in a cage or a kennel and they eat and they never get to run around, they're not going to live long. So, moving on to the next paragraph. paragraph Guys, it says the team isn't just focused on the dogs, however, as it also aims to improve conditions for Barks volunteers. We're talking about the people who have offered their time for free to help out at the shelter. And when you talk about conditions, you're talking about the situation. What a place looks like.、Um, is it dirty, clean? Is it hot, cool? What you know? What conditions、um, do you have to work with? You know.、Um, are Our、conditions are very nice. We're in an office. We have air conditioning. It's nice, but they want to make the conditions better for the volunteers, so that when they go and help out there for free, that they feel good about the the time they spend there. Uh, absolutely, you not only have to take care of the animals, but you have to take care of the humans、yeah. as well.、Uh, they need good facilities there in order to do a good job, and they can look forward to their job every day. Now, they've been using a portable toilet at the edge of the property, as the one inside the shelter is out of order. Now, a portable toilet—if something's portable, that means you can move it around.、Uh, many years ago, of course, you could buy portable stereos like boombox. Boxes. You could take them around to different places and things like that. You don't see them so much anymore, but they are portable. You can move them around, and this is a toilet that can be moved around. It's not a permanent toilet inside your office here. They're usually green or blue or something. They look like out a closet.、Plastic. Yeah, yeah. We call them porta pots、uh, in the United States. I think that's actually a brand name. Oh, I thought we called them porta potties. Porta potties, okay,、yeah. maybe that's the brand name too. <laughs> I haven't been back there in the U.S. in a long time, but in any case,、uh, yeah, they've got a portable toilet at the edge of the property. You know, at the、uh, outside of the property there. The property, of course, refers to the land where the shelter、uh-huh. is. You might want to buy property, for example, in Hualien. Maybe someday it's going to be worth a lot of money, or you can buy property in order to build a house on that property. Yeah, I wanted to mention property can also include the house or building. That is built on the land, but you can also just go out and buy some land. That's property. But if you build something on that property or on that land, it's also considered your property. Things that you own. So yeah, porta potties, those portable toilets, they smell、mm. terrible. But sometimes that's all there is, and so they're trying to make things better for these kids who are volunteering by. Building a bathroom,、um, so there's one inside the shelter already. But we find out in this article that it's out of order. If something's out of order, it doesn't work. So sometimes,、um, for example, I go to a gym, and there are different、uh, pieces of equipment that you can work on. One is a bike, and it's always out of order. Yeah, yeah, the Chinese sign, of course, will say "gu zhang," but in English, of course, will say "out of order." It's not working.、Uh, you'll have to use something else. Okay, everybody, that brings us to about the midway point in today's lesson. Let's take a break now and listen to our Chinese teacher. Hello, everyone. My name is Tina. 今天第一段的第一句提到 ，the team's main objective is to create a space that will reduce the dog's anxiety levels. 这个团队的主要目标 objective 在这里当做名词，就是有目标的意思。它是想要创造一个空间，然后说明一下 that 形容一下这个空间是能够 reduce。The anxiety levels. 想要呢降低狗狗的焦虑的这样子的程度。首先来看到 reduce 当做动词，降低的意思。To reduce expenses， 也就是有降低或减少开支的意思。Anxiety 这是一个重要的名词，解释成为焦虑跟挂念的意思。不过呢，最近我们常常听到的 disconnect anxiety， 则是指断线焦虑，指的呢就是有些人呢，如果手机收不到讯号，会有一些焦虑的症候群，就称之为 disconnect anxiety。接着我们来看到第一段的倒数第二个句子，这个动物之家的呢，它的特色在哪里？之一提到。The updated outdoor area will give the dogs a place to exercise and run off any excess energy. 
。其实呢，动物之家有一个户外区 （outdoor area）， 提供给这些狗狗一个运动，而且可以消耗任何过剩精力的地方。这里有一个形容词 excess， 则是有过量的、额外的意思。举个例子来说，为了减肥，她每天早晨慢跑。你就可以说 ，She jogs every morning to get rid of her excess weight. 接着，我们来看到第二段，第二个句子在这里提到的是 ，They've been using the portable toilet at the edge of the property as the one inside the shelter is out of order. 这个狗狗的生活环境改善好了，那么对于这些照顾的人来说呢？第二段第二句提到，他们一直以来都使用着是一个呢，嗯，流动厕所。在这里，我们用了一个形容词 portable， 本来是有手提式的或轻便的意思。在这里的 a portable toilet 指的就是流动厕所。那么这个流动厕所本来是位在。这个土地的边缘的地方，那么呢，结果是因为里面的那个故障了。我们来看一下这个名词 property， 用来当做名词，就是有房产跟地产的意思，是一个很重要的名词。举个例子来说，他在这条街上有好几笔的房地产，你就可以说 ，He has several properties in this street. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. We're talking about the TV program Pet Nation renovation, about a, a team of people that go into. Pretty rundown shelters and try to renovate them, improve conditions for both the animals and the volunteers that are there. We learned about、um, how Bark has these kennels that are very noisy because they are、um, made out of chain link,、um, and that makes the dogs crazy because every time they hit them, it makes more noise. So the the、mm. dogs are quite stressed; they're stressed out, as we often say, and so it makes them bark more. They pace more, and so when people come to visit the shelter to pick out an animal. If they see a dog, it's not very happy. Do you think they want that one? No, they do not. They want a nice, happy, quiet dog. Yep, one that's well behaved, one that doesn't bark all the time. That is obnoxious, and they don't want a dog that's pacing all the time, or they don't want a psycho dog, a crazy dog that doesn't like to be pet <laughs> or just goes crazy all the、yeah. time for unknown <laughs> reasons. So that's why they're trying to make this place civil for everybody, the dogs. And the humans as well. Now, where we left off here,、uh, we found out that they've been using a portable toilet, and the one on one inside the shelter is out of order. So, therefore, they're receiving a new bathroom、Yay. as well as a lounge and kitchen area in a previously unused section of the wet room. Cool. That's nice. Okay, so they're getting a new bathroom. They don't have to go to the portable toilet. They don't have to worry about、uh, taking the waste away or having somebody to come and get it. And they've got a lounge now. A lounge, of course, is a place where you can relax. Maybe some comfortable chairs there,、uh, a water machine, a coffee machine, or something like that. And also a kitchen area if they want to make up some snacks or something like that. And they're building this in a previously unused area of the wet room. It was just sort of like a wasted room, and now they're going to put it to good use. Well,、uh, yeah, that one part of the wet room was wasted. They weren't using it, but the wet room remembers where they wash the dogs and also where they prepare the food for the dogs, kind of like the kitchen for the dogs.、Mm. So, what's more, they're also installing or putting in a washing machine and dryer, which is really great because they used to take、um, the dirty, you know, towels and things that they'd use with the dogs and take them off to、um, a laundromat that was not close. By which is a pain. I used to go to a laundromat sometimes in New York City before I had a washing machine and dryer. Oh, it's such a hassle. I love, 
I love that here in Taiwan, it's just sort of、uh, a custom. Everybody does it. Everyone has a washing machine at least in their apartments. That's not true in the United States at all.、Mm. Uh, sometimes your whole building will share a washing machine and dryer. Two of them. We had two in my building.、Um, but yeah, it's a pain to go to a laundromat. Laundromat is where you pay.、Uh, Per load of clothes to、uh, wash your your laundry. So if it's offsite, it's not on the property or where you are. You have to go to another location, so it's offsite. We'll often use this term, guys, in business to talk about meetings that are held offsite. Maybe they're at somebody a client's office. You're going to have an offsite meeting there, or maybe you're going to.、Um, You know, a special hotel and have a big meeting at an offsite hotel.、Uh, indeed, but in this particular case, the laundromat is not on the shelter. It's not in the shelter there, so they have to take their laundry to a laundromat away from the shelter. But now they're going to have a washer and dryer here, a washing machine and a dryer.、Uh, dryers aren't so common here in Taiwan, which is good because they use a lot of energy. I think it's always best to hang your laundry out to dry. And put them right in the sun there, but sometimes people don't have that option. Fortunately, hard, it's hard in the winter here, Tom, to get things to dry. <laughs>、uh, well, we don't have that problem because we have an open air roof there to hang our laundry. Oh, nice! So that's real nice. Oh, that's good. But here they've got a washing machine and a dryer, and indeed they have their dirty laundry problem solved. Now, here in the next paragraph, it says when the renovations are finally complete. And all the dogs have been groomed. Bark is ready to reopen and entertain guests with an adoption event. So here, when when those renovations are finally complete, all the fixing up is done. The new rooms are all set. The bathroom is ready to go. It's nice and clean and neat. Brand spanking new. It looks like it's brand spanking new. In any case, and also the dogs have been groomed. Okay, maybe they've been given haircuts. They've been given shampoos. Their fur is nice and clean, and they look like very presentable pooches. They're really nice-looking dogs, so they're ready to reopen a grand reopening, and they're going to have some new customers coming over. They're going to entertain guests. To entertain someone just means to make them feel happy.、Mm-hmm. Uh, usually, in this particular sense, though, you entertain guests when you invite them over, you fix them a meal, you make them comfortable. That's what entertaining is. Entertaining in a different kind of sense. Is that you put on a show for somebody? You sing, you dance, you make a movie, you entertain people. But here, you're just having guests over, and you make them feel welcome. Yeah. So we've got this adoption expert whose name is Jill Rappaport, and she has pre-screened every guest to ensure that Bark's dogs will only go to the best homes. You know, sometimes. Uh, there can be people that go to the shelter who don't treat animals very well. So, the shelter is trying to protect the animals from those people.、Uh, so, what they'll do is look in the background, see if they have、um, a home that is suitable for an animal. If they have a backyard, maybe if they have a, they want to adopt a big. Big dog. They're looking for a big backyard, at least in the states. They also want to see if they have kids that would get along with the animal. So to pre-screen is to look at someone before,、uh, beforehand, maybe before they want to do something. Here we're saying before they adopt the pet, we're going to screen them, check their background, see if they're suitable for the dogs that bark. Uh, right. Some people actually beat their animals. Terrible,、uh, so, isn't it? So yeah, they've got to make sure that the、uh, people are going to treat the animals nicely. Horrible. Yeah. And kick with them. Do- yeah, kick them or put them outside in、oh. the winter and things like that.、Uh, it's very cruel. So they got to make sure. And with the dogs looking their best and feeling happy and comfortable in their new surroundings, it isn't long before fourteen of them put their puppy eyes to work <laughs> and find their new forever homes. So the dogs are nice and comfortable. The surroundings here—that、uh, just means the area around you. It could be the house you're living in, but also the neighborhood where the neighborhood, you live. Yeah, All、totally. the things that are around you—they're、uh, nice and comfortable. They don't feel stressed now. And so, 14 of these animals put their puppy eyes to work.、Mm. They use those puppy eyes, which is when they kind of open their eyes a little bigger to make them look cuter. So you'll give them food. They do that on purpose, by the way. They know what they're doing. They put those eyes to work. And they try to look cute for the people coming over for this event. 
and that will help them be adopted a lot faster. Yeah, if you want someone to do something for you, a lot of times, you know, you get those, you'll get those big eyes, and you'll go, "Oh, please, please, please," and that's when you say, "Don't give me your puppy eyes. Don't give、mm. me those puppy eyes."、Uh, meaning you're trying to be cute and sweet, so I'll do something that you want me to do for you. So there are plenty more cute and cuddly dogs looking for homes on Pet Nation renovation. However, so you've got to tune in if you want to see more of these heartwarming animals. And on this heartwarming show, you can say too, if something's cuddly, guys, it just is so nice and soft and sweet. You want to just hold it, give it a big hug. That's cuddly.、Uh, stuffed animals are often described as being cuddly. Mm. And of course, this is a heartwarming show on Animal Planet.、Uh, that means it、uh, basically makes you feel good when you watch this program. Oh, isn't that sweet? They're helping those animals out. There's hope for human beings after all. So yes, we wish them the best of luck. And this might be a TV show that you might think of checking out if you're into animals and you want to see animals' lives improved. And also at the same time, your English will improve as well.、Yeah. Okay, that brings us to the end of our explanation. Time now to listen. To To some Chinese explanation. 接着来看到第二段的最后一句，提到 What's more, the team is installing a washing machine and dryer so that the volunteers no longer have to carry all the shelter's dirty laundry to an off-site laundromat. What's more, 此外更甚的是呢，这个团队正在 installing。Install 则是有安装的意思，像是 to install an air conditioner 装冷气机。不过在这里装的是 a washing machine and dryer， 装着洗衣机跟烘干机。So that 以便呢，这些职工啊就不用再将所有收容所的脏衣服带到外面的自助洗衣店。Offsite 形容词原本是解释成为工作场地以外的地方，像我们常常听到的 offsite consulting， 指的呢就是远距咨询的意思。最后一段的第一句提到 ，When the renovations are finally complete and all the dogs have been groomed, bark is ready to reopen and entertain guests. With an adoption event, 在这里的 renovations 当然指的是改装。当所有的改装终于完成 complete， 在这里当做形容词。那所有的狗狗都已经梳洗干净。Groom 当做动词，有打扮或是使整洁的意思。这个呢，旺旺中心终于准备好要重新开张，然后要来招待宾客了。接着来看到，在这一段中间提到 ，with the dogs looking their best and feeling happy and comfortable in their new surroundings, it isn't long before fourteen of them put their puppy eyes to work and find their new forever homes. 在这里要特别注意一下 ，with 加上名词 the dogs， 然后呢后面有两个分词 looking their best and feeling happy and comfortable， 表示是一种附带状况。狗狗们呈现出自己最好看的样子，而且在新环境当中又觉得快乐又自在。在这里后面提到的 not long before， 则是有很快的，不久之后呢，十四只狗狗就成功的用他们的眼神呢，为自己找到了新的家。OK， 那么呢，在这里的 surroundings 就是有周遭环境的意思，是要用复数来表达。以上就是今天的课文讲解，谢谢收听。That's it for、yeah. today's program. Thank you for joining us, and please join us again next time for another edition of our program. Hey, maybe you can volunteer at your local animal shelter as well. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.